You're here at BEA for the third book in your series, and it's a trilogy, correct? Correct. I'm actually here for a couple of books. I can give you the whole rundown. Right, because you, you, you have a lot of books. I have a lot moving and shaking, apparently. Yeah. Um, so I'm here for, at BookCon tomorrow for a retelling of Star Wars A New Hope, which is called oh. The Princess, The Scoundrel, and The Farm Boy. And then today I just had my signing for In the Afterlight, which is the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy, which is sort of like a dystopian telekinetic teens on the run from a dystopian government kind of situation. And then yesterday I had a signing for Passenger, which comes out next January, and that's like a big epic time travel romance. Oh, it's like a treasure hunt oh. through time. So. Where, where do you find the time to do so much writing? <laughs> That's a good question. When I first started writing, I was actually working full time in publishing. I was an, oh, I was an editorial assistant, and then I was a marketing person, a oh, um, marketing okay. associate, if you want the official title. Yeah. Um, and I would just come home and write at night and on the weekends. And now it's just be I write full time, which is amazing. So yeah. I write, keep like normal hours. I go from like nine to five. Oh wow! Yeah, that's nice because I think different writers have different schedules, or but yeah. but that's sort of nice to keep it that it's like your your full time yeah. job now. Exactly. Yeah, I'm really a night owl, so I have to battle the instinct to stay up until yeah. like four o'clock in the morning working and like keep reasonable human hours. Right, so. right. So that you're like part of the normal yes. world. Exactly. <laughs> now you're you're a New York Times bestselling author at a very young age. What's your secret? I don't know if there is a secret. I think the secret for writers everywhere is just grit and not giving up. And even if yeah. one book doesn't work, it's always be working on the next book. And I don't know, and just building like genuine relationships with fans, whether it's on social media or you're actually like getting out into the world and meeting them at bookstores or libraries. Right. And just like developing a relationship with them. Is that how you've um, you've developed relationships with a lot of your your readers? Yeah. Social media and, and then also at signings. Yes, definitely. Um, I owe Twitter and Tumblr especially a lot. Tumblr is just like a great place to connect, even with just other book lovers. It's great. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people starting out who are maybe even self-published, who are trying to get that audience but, you know, are struggling with it? trying to think what would be, especially for self-published, I know it's like a tricky situation because you have something to give to them and I think just like reaching out to bloggers especially to try to get reviews and to try to generate some kind of um, word of mouth. So like Goodreads for instance has a great option of like giving books away or like running contests and people constantly are checking that page. Um, I just started an author newsletter, which actually people surprisingly love newsletters. I did not realize. Oh, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> that's I know. nice. I think it's depending on what what it is. So yeah, that's probably true. want to read. They don't want a newsletter every single day, but they right. like just again building relationships with people and even like mm -hmm. something as simple as finding and connecting to people on Twitter. Just like finding someone yeah. who has a mutual interest with you and like talking mm -hmm. to other writers online and kind of like working your way into their lives a little bit. That sounds kind of creepy that I said, phrased it that way, but like I know with a, with a lot of my writer friends, our, relation, our friendships have started because we liked each other's books and we like read yeah. them because we had heard about them. So I guess that's not like super solid advice. It's just no, be yourself, don't give up. Like yeah. just, just try to connect instead yeah. of just being like, buy my book, buy my book. Yes, exactly. If you are yeah. just retweeting everything about your book or you're just, that's all your Twitter stream is or yeah. your Tumblr posts are, then that's like not genuine. People want to know the person actually writing the book. Yeah. And then finally, I heard a rumor that The Darkest Minds is option for a film. Yeah. Is, do you have any, um, like a dream cast or a dream director you'd want to, oh, that's to work so on? Tough. It. <laughs> so it was. It was optioned in um, 2012, maybe? It's been a while. Um, yeah. And it, it's been like incredible. They're actually, it's in production. They hired oh, a screenwriter. Wow. He's finished the script. I think they're kind of, they're trying to figure out the director situation. Right. But the screenwriter is Chad Hodge, who wrote and kind of like, um, or he didn't, it's based off of uh, another book series, but the Fox show Wayward Pines, he's been kind of executive oh, yeah. producing and he worked on the scripts for that and he adapted that, those novels for the screen. And it's been amazing to watch it and like, he's been super collaborative with me, so I have like oh, no that's complaints. that's really nice. 
Um, so I'm hoping one day you will get the Darkest Minds movie. In terms of cast, I don't know. It's like it's such a hard question because I feel like all of the original people that I had thought of years and years ago when I was writing the book, they've yeah. kind of like aged out of the parts a little bit. Right. And I, I also don't like love like planting an idea of what the character looks like in readers' heads. Yeah. I kind of like yeah, leave it. Open yeah. Too. And I think it's I mean it's nice too because I think. The actors who hopefully will get the parts will like nail the character spirit. So like their appearance yeah. isn't like totally the most important thing. Right, and things like hair color. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, hair can be dyed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it's very exciting. It sounds like you have Thank so much you. going yeah. on. So thanks so much for taking the time to talk. Thank you for to talking us. with me. It was nice yeah. to meet you. You too. <laughs>